So, what do you reckon? Is it going to be today? Yeah, mate. You see how this level here, it's got a taper. It's heading down. It's tracking deeper. So, we're chasing this level downwards. All this dirt in front of me, we've got to get through it to get to the opal. So, um, yep, it's going to be a lot of blood, sweat and tears in that direction. All right, Josiah, 15 metres. There we go. Rookie miners Lisa Van Heiningen and Josiah Kotzer are halfway through their first season, working eight and a half metres below ground with a minimal setup. Two jackhammers and a 40 year old hoist. This is our hoist, and it's a very crucial part of our daily activities. It takes up all the soil and dumps it on the top side, and that allows us to keep driving forward. We're another bucket closer, Lisa, to fame and fortune. Riches and treasures. Oh, what's that? What is it? Bearing just fell out. Off the bucket. Oh, the bucket's just uncom it's come off the rails and it's got stuck. I don't know how that happened. The Digi Diggers are a new breed of opal miner with ambitious plans to go green. We're at Bush, we just can't just plug into 240 volt. We're in the middle of Outback Australia. There's no power around. We survive off the sun's power. The setup costs to date are $100,000, but their ultimate goal is to sell opal in the metaverse using a virtual marketplace. We're advancing. We've got our bus in there. There's a tree. We're rebuilding the whole mine. In, in the metaverse, and we want this digital shop where everyone over the whole world can buy our opals. But for that, we need to find opals because it's gonna cost us a lot. Yeah. <gasps> oh, <gasps> our season target is $60,000, so we're on our way. Bearing, it's come off the bucket on the hoist. It just got stuck. Every time we're closed, it's just like, problems with this hoist. This hoist Every just, time. I don't know what it's doing, it just always keeps breaking. All right, Lil, let's go see. Maybe we can fix it. A sheared bearing on their 40-year-old hoist has brought the Digi Digger's operation to a grinding halt. Brett is an old friend of us. He has um, some bearings for us that we can use. The only thing is that they are in his, own, his old mine shop and he hasn't been down there for I don't know how long, so he doesn't really know what's the goat. Cool, you've checked everything? Checked it. Hope there's no snakes down there. So yeah, just be careful on your way down. It's about a 60 foot shaft, so hopefully it connects to the other one, because we need to get there to get the bearings. All good, Josiah? All good. All right. How are you doing? I really made it. Yeah, good work. We're down. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> so that's the direction that we need to go in. Looks like there's a wall just before the shaft. Like, what? Oh, no. Dead end. Dead, dead end. end. Dead end. What do you mean, dead end? Look this All way. Right. I'll have a look over here. Yeah, that's backfield. That's backfield. All right, this way. That's where we just came from. Oh, man, this is a maze. And a sketchy maze. This is no way, this is no way. Which way? You come. I think this one. This looks pretty sketchy. Yes. Looks sketchy. I don't even know anymore if we came from left or right, so... It looks like someone's. What do you see? You see equipment? Yeah, some lights. Oh my god, yes! Mate, we must have taken the longest <laughs> way around. <laughs> yep, there it is, the ladder. And. <laughs> There's bearings on there, yes! <laughs> They're good. We only need one, really, but we'll take two. Bloody bearing. Oh Stop. well, we've got it. Bloody opal mining. Let's fix this thing. So, yep, this is going to help us get back to work, find some opal. 
that fit? Yep, that'll be it. Nice! We're on it again! So crazy. So we take it out the whole section. Some color here. <laughs> Very good. Ew! Wow, Messiah. Messiah! Look at this! Oh, sh Whoa! And it looks like it goes all the way through and there's more in the wall, even. <laughs> Look at that! Wow, blue, green. Wow. Let's drop it down. Yeah, both hands. Okay, wait, slowly, slowly, slowly. Look at that. Oh, it's like a heart, turn it around. Oh, all right. <laughs> Looks like a heart. It's a broken, broken heart. It's a broken heart. Okay, I, I'll have this piece. Oh, you have that piece. <laughs> oh, that's funny. We found an opalized broken heart, 30 foot underground. We got everything red, green. It's all there. The whole rainbow's there. Well, oh, but there's still color there. This is the moment we get a whole yearly target in one day. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna pull it, it's just, it's there. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Holy shit. That there is gorgeous. What a big hunk of crystal, look at it. And there might be more. Whoa, look at that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> sort of awestruck by this, you know? We're in a bit of a shock, what we're seeing right now. So beautiful, it's... <laughs> Look at that, this is gorgeous. It's here. <laughs> You're the one that's supposed to cry, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just go through all of this. Yep. The buyers that are coming into town are high-end jewelers, so we're suspecting that they're going to want crystal and high-quality crystal at that. This is our kingstone. This is it's just an amazing piece. It's just full crystal. You can see it with the sun. It's just shining straight through it. It's just an amazing piece of art. <laughs> the Digi Diggers have crystal opal, featuring rich blues with green and purple highlights. It's in the rough and weighs 160 grams.